Hey guys, it's Jordan, and so for today's video, I am going to be doing something a little different. I am going to be doing an updated what's in my, like, my updated makeup that I have that I like to show you guys for something different for a little video. Since I couldn't really come up with a video, and I thought, I like makeup. I'm not really wearing any today, but that's okay, and I sh I'm sure you guys all like makeup too. If you don't, I'm sorry, this video is probably not going to be for you. But without further dang ado, I'm going to get on to my updated makeup, makeup, sure, that I have. So let's get right into the All right, video. starting off, I have, I will show you this, which is, this is like my whole holy grail, all my makeup stuff that I put in. It's in a nice little container that I fill, and I do get stuff in the mail for like, travel size stuff to try out that I don't I haven't tried out yet of course I don't even know if probably this is opened or not <laughs> so we're just gonna get right into it I'm first gonna show you if you know me these are all my shoot these are all of my brushes right here I don't have many but when I do I use only Morphe brushes really except for actually yes these are all morphe brushes except for maybe one that i had to get new of which is this one which this one right here is just a simple elf brush that i have so all of my makeup brushes will be that you will see me use if i ever do another makeup tutorial is morphe brushes moving on to primer this is my favorite primer that I have ever used in the history of primer that I use literally I don't use many primers I think I I showed this in a lot of other videos for primer but my favorite primer right now is the Fenty Beauty primer and it is the pro filter instant retouch primer base like so And yes, this is my, my absolute favorite. Moving on to foundation with foundation. I have the Born This Way Too Faced foundation in the color Pearl. And if you know me, my usual makeup routine for every day, I do not wear foundation. I think foundation is something that you can choose, that you can wear in like, if you want to. But like me, in the shade Pearl. As you see. And so, yeah. Moving on to concealer. Concealer, I had the Tarte Shape Tape, which a lot of people use for concealer. This is what I had, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And the shade Fair. Because I have very, very fair skin. I am not a beauty guru either, clearly. Ta-da. In the shade fair. Ta-da. Yep. You get it, people. Alright, moving on to, after concealer, we have baking powder. To bake my face, I use the Laura Mercier Baking Translucent Powder. Yes very generic like any beauty guru they have this for setting powder i just recently have been using setting powder for a while now i used to never use it and then i saw how beauty gurus like to bake to, for creases and i'm like okay and i've been using this laura mercier all right moving on to bronzer and I forgot to mention I have another kind of foundation here and the other one is elf that I don't really use but I don't mind it it's in the color natural you probably won't see it but I use this as well sometimes if I'm going for more of like a sheer look instead of full coverage okay continue I also have this for that I've never used for um, baking powder, which is the Tarte one, in Smooth Operator 
Amazonian clay finishing powder. So yeah, I have this little travel thing. I've never really gone out and used it, but it is like open. So that's a good thing, I guess. Moving on to bronzer. This is the only bronzer I've used so far that I've ever used and I haven't really explored. So if you have any better bronzers, I use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil with light to medium matte bronzer. Um, if you guys have a suggestion on any other um, bronzers to use, I'm open for it. So it looks like this, just a simple bronzer. And it smells like chocolate, so I kind of like it that way too. You can tell probably that this is very old. I don't use bronzer a lot unless I'm doing like an actual full face and I'll use it. Moving on to highlighter. Highlighter, I have very fair skin, so I get this, which is um, from Ofra and it's in the color Glazed Donut. And it's very pretty. I love it. And if I'm correct, I think this is the brand that um, Nikki Tutorials came out with. And I've been really liking it. And then the other highlighter I've used that I had to throw away because it was old and wasn't working was the highlighter and the shade French Vanilla. Moving on to eyes. Yes. So for eyes, I first start out with my MAC. Pink Shirley Paint Pot, and when I actually open it, it's been used a lot, clearly. But I use this to prime my eyeballs with, and I love it. And then, for eyeshadows, I have two different eyeshadow palettes I can use. I have this one, which is the Morphe 35R palette, which when I open it, you can tell I've used this for a while. Which is this one. I go for, when I do my eyes, I go for a very light um bronzy look and so i go with this one and then i have another eyeshadow palette that i actually haven't used yet but i have and i can't wait to use it which is the laura lee los angeles nudity Retreat palette i have it i have not used it yet because i'm nervous to use it because of how freaking gorgeous it is but it looks like that and it's so pretty. it's so pretty so i can't wait to use it and then laura lee los angeles is also coming out with more palettes which i'm super excited about she's coming out with uh, she has come out with um her little six palette ones which is boss something and then party animal which are they're so cute and i've been meaning to get her liquid lipsticks too Laura Lee, your queen. All right, moving on to eyeliner. Oh, and I also have this that I've been kind of going off on, which is um this um, liquid shimmer shadow from LOC, and it looks like this. It's very like a matte bronzy color with shine shimmery stuff in it. Yep. And now moving, now moving on to I. For eyebrows, I don't really do that much, but I do have this Anya Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer that I have in the color blonde, because I'm blonde. But yeah, I have this as well. I do not really use it though, because I don't know why, but I don't do my brows, because my glasses always cover them, so I don't usually do them. And now for eyeliner, eyeliner, I have three different eyeliners. Yikes. I have this one, which is when I had to get it and I was on like very cheap kind of way. It's the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Eyeliner. And it's called Little Black Dress and it looks like that, just like a simple liner. And then I have the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color trooper this one i've used for so long i love kat von d eyeliner it, it's easy to use love it but the recent one i've been using that i am in love with is this thing from ico london skinny liquid eyeliner in the color black 
and it's so easy to use I'm obsessed with it like yes please it's gorgeous I love it and then going on I always use because my eyelashes suck I use my fancy dancy eyelash curler which to be honest I'm not zooming in on it because it's very dirty and I've had this for so long so yeah moving on I have for I use one type of mascara which for mascara I use the benefit bang bad girl bang mascara in the color black and this is my go-to mascara I love it it's bendy it's easy to use it makes my eyelashes look bomb all right moving on I do have um a beauty blender by the way I don't usually use it though but I have it just in case and then moving on I have my lip stuff shit I have my lips if you can tell I only usually have like two different brands here which is Jeffree Star which is in the color radium and it looks like this Merry Christmas this is for like a Christmas time look and I literally just put the bottle in it good job me and then I have my four little Kylie ones that I love this one is high maintenance and this is like a peachy color which I'm in love with. I like Kylie Jenner's matte formula, by the way. Which, there's that one. Very pretty. And then I have this one, which is called Leo. Which, Leo I got because I am a Leo. I'm born in August, so Leo is my astrological sign. But I will say, for the color, not very summery. So I usually wear this one more in the fall. And then my... I'll do that one last. This one is Posse K. This was my very second one I got. Which this one is like a darker nude from High Maintenance. But it still has like a pinky undertone to it still. Which is that one. And then my very first one that I love the most from Kylie's Lip Kits is the Kylie Candy K. And this one is very good for like just a simple nude look. I'm obsessed with it. I'm almost out actually. And you can tell just by the wand, I'll get it out again. I've used this way too much because the wand is very yikes, you know, compared to the others. And then this one is that. And then for setting spray, I use this right now, which is the e.l.f. Uh, setting spray. Because I'm just using this right now just because it was cheap and I didn't have any because I ran out. I do like the MAC. Fix Plus and the Morphe one as well. And I'm now having these two travel ones, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I haven't used yet, but I'm looking forward to using. And then I have this one that's like a primer, which is a quick fix. And so that's it for my makeup, guys. Here are my nice little swatches still on my hand. Ignore that. But that's it for all my makeup so far. I am hoping to broaden my makeup horizons <laughs> and so yeah that's it for this video guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up and like the video and i will see you guys next time bye